What's up, guys? Hope everyone's doing well. It's a beautiful Saturday. I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of my um, soldering and brazing kit, what I keep in there and um, in that box. I've got questions on that. Guys want to see what I'm running in some of my other boxes here. So let's get to it. All right, so this is my main box here. I just used the top. This is that rigid kit. These came out sort of like way before the Milwaukee ones did, and I think they're the bomb. They're a lot cheaper, too, and they're made just as heavy duty, if you ask me. And um, I got the other piece of it over there. But anyway, I used, you know, I got my solder weld kit, which you guys have seen. Um, and I just used the top part here for um, all my brazen stuff in here. It's all I need it for. Got the sticker there. The man, AKH Vac. What's up, brother, if you're watching? But this is really it. Pretty, pretty simple. This is just... I don't know, these are just some old hold clamps I got in there, hose clamps, some fittings. Keep Teflon tape for um for drain lines or water lines, maybe for ice machines or whatever. You know, another torch tip, a little tiny tip in here. Another regulator for my tank. That's the this one's got the connection for the like the MC tank, the smaller tanks. Um we use the B tanks usually um we run acetylene we don't use oxyacetylene at my company so we just use acetylene with the turbo torches and have different you know varieties of tips that we use for what we need i also got some viper wet rag here i actually got two of these this stuff works really well too guys you got that just got a little wrench to open the tank an extra lighter if you need it for the torch just keep my tube and cutters in here this is the big boy this one goes up to two and five eighths. It's another, another rigid cutter. These rigid ones are real good. I've had this one and this little one for years. And they've lasted, man. They they make some good cutters. A um, couple tube and benders for small pipe. This thing is like ancient. I don't even know how old that is. I don't even know. I think I might have. My old boss freaking 20 years ago gave me this thing. <laughs> That's basically it, sort of a mess, just extra pieces of brazen rod that I didn't use. I throw them in here just for emergencies, so you run out of regular rods. You can always use the little pieces to get you out of a bind. This is old, like, this thermo trap stuff. Stuff sucks. Doesn't work good at all. I don't even know why I have it in here. Um, the solder weld hot block and the Viper wet rag are a million times better. I just keep a little level in here. Uh, for leveling out pipe uh, to make it look better you know you always want to be nice a couple couple turbo torch tips these are the self-igniting ones they got the lighter in them hit that and they fire off themselves you don't need a sparker or a lighter or anything it's nice just some sandpaper some odds and ends this is for my silver solder it stays silver paste I got a core remover in here. I don't know why. That should be in another box. And this for the soft solder, we use the Stay Bright here. Works very well. Drain lines and whatnot. And then just got our silver solder here for 45% for going brass to copper or copper to metal, copper to steel or whatever. And just some solder and paste. That's pretty much it, guys. And then just over here. I just keep on uh, my veto here because my I usually keep my torch in the back here. So when I grab it, I just got some other tips I keep in here for quick, quick access. You know, just different size tips here. Another self, self lighting one in my mirror. Always check your joints, guys. I don't care if you're the best brazer in the world. Check them, and you will never have any leaks. This mirror is pretty sweet too. It's a husky one. It's like ten bucks, and it's got a light in it too. You can turn it on. Those light up. Very, very cool. I've had this a long time. It's been great. For, for the price, you can't beat it. But other than that, that's really all I use for brazing and soldering, guys. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that because I had some questions on it. You know, really don't need that much to get the job done. Very simple setup, but it's all I need, and it's worked out great. So that's it. I mean, other than that, uh, stay safe, everyone. I hope everyone's doing good. I worked a few days this week. Um, yesterday, I had a pretty good wiring issue in a freezer i might pull out my diagrams and do a video on that what i had um to show you guys through those um you know the heat craft diagrams and stuff that i've done some videos on those um 
I had a pain in the ass one yesterday and I'm walking with two evaporators that were like wired differently from each other. So, but anyway, stay safe, everyone. Hope you're doing good. Stay strong. I'll catch you on the next one.